Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com, here to bring you another gun review. Today, talking about this guy, High Point C9, the OG 9mm, not to be confused with the Yeet Cannon. Gonna start off with saying, well, a lot of people love to bash High Point. I think they're awesome as a company. One, making guns here in the U.S. at an affordable price that honestly gives people a entry place into the market to pick up a firearm, exercise that Second Amendment. I think that's really good. And a lot of people, frankly, have started their journey with high points. Commendable. So, what about my experience with this one? While a lot of people have things to say about the high point, I think honestly, most have never owned, let alone shot one. And wanting to get the experience, what did I do with this? Took it out to a Rune Nation pistol course. Oh yes. Starting off initially shooting a cold start, which I will say I did not pass. Fairness of the high point, I don't know if I passed it with any pistol. and moved on from there. Ended up doing it being a level one course. Started off doing some just kind of marksmanship, fundamental stuff, eventually moving back and yeah, incorporating movement, all the stuff. All said and done, put about 500 rounds through this thing that one day, and definitely have some takeaways. While most people in that course were drawing from exposed holsters, I wanted to get all the reps. So everything was drawn out one hand from concealment. For that, I used this sweet holster that I got on Amazon. I was gonna get a Safari Land ALS, but I couldn't find one, and this thing, is loaded with features. On the one hand, we can actually snap this if we want to use that retention. Pretty sure I took it off for the class. You just peel these Velcro tabs off. And then you have this little hook right here. So it's also reversible, right or left-handed. And added bonus, you can put a spare mag right there. Definitely didn't use that, probably wouldn't recommend it. but. Drew everything one-handed from concealment out of this holster and got after it. It was a little challenging at times. I will say while this, I also manipulated the safety every time because I wasn't gonna have this thing like on fire appendix in the waistband. Wasn't gonna do that. So all the reps to include manipulating the safety. One thing I will say is as far as magazines go, this being number eight, I had seven 10 round magazines and uh, one of the flush fit, I think it's seven or eight rounds, don't recall offhand. And through the course of the day, it locked back on the empty magazine once. I don't know. I don't know if it was the way I was gripping it, what, but, oh, it did it for me right there. But it did happen. And whatever, it is what it is. Honestly, I got a lot of rip, uh, a lot of rips, a lot of reps doing immediate action, which wasn't necessarily a bad thing. During that course, I was shooting Minuteman Munition 124 and I believe 115 grain training ammo. 
I didn't run into any malfunctions with this beyond what I said. Again, not ammo related, just for whatever reason, not locking back on empty magazine. Don't know why. One thing it is kind of unique to High Point is they send this thing out with two different sights, two different rear sights. This one right here is basically a little rear peep sight. Never used one before on a pistol, but there's a lot of science as to lining things up in circles. I was like, I'll give this thing a go and went after it. It worked, definitely took a little getting used to not being very familiar with uh, kind of the way it's set up, but it worked for me. One thing I will say that I have like no idea, but occasionally sometimes a round would go like high left. No idea why. And it happened, I don't know, a handful of times throughout the day. I'm fairly proficient in shooting to the point where I'm like, I know I didn't just do this. Like, why is that on the cardboard down there? And I have no idea. Like I said, it happened a couple times. As far as the trigger pull on this, it's pretty amazing. Depending on your definition of amazing. But no, like it's adequate. When you get back to any distance, like 15, 25 yards, you definitely have to do your part to uh, get your hits. As far as accuracy goes, I tested couple different defensive loads as well as some other ammo at about seven yards and here's my results. What do I think about those results? For me personally, I think someone that is just a better pistol shooter could probably squeeze more out of this. But for what this is, and the fact that like most defensive shots, I think it's acceptable. If you're on HRT, it might not be your first choice, especially since sample size of one, I've occasionally kind of had some flyers like high left, but no, I think it's acceptable. If you're big on stats and the like, here's the breakdown of what's going on with this guy. The High Point C9 features a 3.5 inch barrel, overall length of 6.75 inches, weighs 29 ounces, frame is made of a high impact polymer, has a black powder coat finish, or hydro dip, depending on if you get a sweet camouflage one. Comes with a eight round magazine. You can also buy sweet 10 round extendo clips comes with three dot plastic sights, fully adjustable rear sight. The pistols feature a magazine disconnect safety as well as a thumb safety and come with a lifetime warranty and are plus P rated. And while it is available in some pretty sweet camo patterns, they do not offer it in sweet Alpine. Gotta do that one yourself. But big takeaways, what do I think about this pistol? Honestly, I think it's a good pistol for 200 bucks. Like, let's be real, this thing's about 200 bucks. And people love to jump on the, just the hate train and bash High Point. I think they do a lot of people a really good service by providing them with a pistol that they can ultimately use to defend themselves at a price point that is more approachable than other pistols. You're like, oh, well, you should just save up and buy this. Well whatever this is, is probably twice the price of this. And at the end of the day, like honestly, a lot of people are just elitist assholes. They are. Rather than appreciating that someone is getting into the market and one, exercising their right to defend themselves and actually becoming a firearm owner, they just want to crap all over them. And you're like, get you killed in the streets, bro. No, probably not. Well, I saw a high point and it failed. And the only reason the cop survived is because the pistol, cool. What you're telling me is that the criminal element is known for maintaining firearms. Gotcha. No, man, like anyone that wants to get into firearms, I think should be encouraged to do so. And the fact that high point offers a gun 
that is more attainable for a lot of people, I think that is absolutely a good thing. If you want to pick one up, I encourage you to do so. Usually about 200 bucks, pretty much anywhere. And if you actually have experience with one, I'd love to hear how it's been for you. Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.